check this out. A 60-year-old man from Kansas, his name is Martin Manley, decided to kill himself just like two days ago or three days ago, and uh, he decided to make a web page, which he paid ahead of time for like three to five years. He went as far as he could, you know, paid ahead of time, and he was hoping that somebody would take over. But unfortunately, Yahoo removed it, saying that he, you know, uh, went against the rules, uh, the term of service, and so they removed it. But it's on a mirror site, so down below you can check it out. I'll put the uh, link to the website. Anyway, I thought it was very interesting because it was very thought out. You could tell that the guy wasn't depressed. He was just worried about getting older. I guess he had a touch of uh, Alzheimer's uh, disease. And he was worried about what was going to happen in his future as far as that. And I can relate. I can understand because I'm worried about getting old too. You know, am I going to have a heart attack and, or have a seizure and be paralyzed halfway down? Or uh, like my neighbor got MS. You know, out of the blue, and it changed her life. She had to learn how to eat and talk again and walk again. You know, so he, he worried about all those different things that could happen. But he didn't think one thing out, and that was, uh, you know, if you kill yourself, I believe in God, and I, I believe in the Bible, and so therefore, you know, you kill yourself, you're going to go to hell. That's the only thing he didn't think he, think that out. But I guess he decided, you know, the, uh, the one was worse than that. I can never kill myself because of that reason. Um, but I can relate on the, the fear of that. But he had no diseases, wasn't in debt, wasn't in depress. He's broken all down to the reasons why most people normally would kill themselves. They don't apply to him, you know. Uh, but he took his savings and he sold his house and all that. And he bought $200,000 in gold and silver and buried them. And he left it on the site, a map to it. Um, but the police have already checked it out. They say it's a hoax that he gave away the money before this time came. And, um, so it's not there. But of course the police could have already raided it and cause they blocked out the area. So they could have already found it and we would never know, you know, they could say, Oh, we didn't find it, but actually it was there. But it's, it's interesting. I mean, the whole site I've read quite a bit so far and it's just very interesting very laid out. He wants to be cremated. He already paid for that. He had it set up for uh, his organs to be harvested. Um, that was interesting. I mean, everything in detail. Sending letters to family and stuff. And then he, his plan was to call 911, tell him where he's located, reporting a suicide, and then kill himself. And that's what he did. He shot, him, he shot himself. Um, and that's another thing, too, because I want to be buried and I want to be an open casket. And so you know, you shoot yourself in the head, that ain't going to happen. But he didn't want to do it in the house because then family would have to clean it up. Family meaning like, uh, I think his sister or maybe he's talking about his ex-wife. Uh, he wasn't married. He didn't have no kids. You know, he said if he did have kids, he wouldn't have done this. But again, I don't condone this. It's just I can't understand. I couldn't do what he did. But I can understand wanting to get out before... You know, your life could, you know, he's already having symptoms of things. So I can understand. I can. Now, I've seen some people that are supportive of what he did, and other people say he's a coward and all this. And he even put on there that people would label suicide people as, you know, cowards. And he's right, because most people say that's a coward way out. Um, but then it sure does take a lot of guts to try to do that, to, you know, get over the fear. What if you do it and it doesn't, you know, it just paralyzes you if you shoot yourself in the head? You know, he did worry about that. Well, he had a 22. He thought about using that. But then he could live through it and he could be in a worse condition than he would, was before. So he got a bigger gun. And uh, the whole thing is just unbelievable. But I can't believe they, they removed it. So, like I said, down below um, in the description, I'll give you the link so you can check it out. And um, it's something to think about. I'll tell you that. I'm going to finish reading all the stuff that he's wrote. He's, he's wrote a lot of stuff, you know, about different, different viewpoints about gun control, uh, things like that. So check it out if you get time, if you want to. If you don't, still, it's just an interesting thing. And do you think he really did bury the money? Or maybe those numbers actually mean something else. I don't know. All right, you guys have a good one. Take care, and God bless.